Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to properly house your crickets uh, without smell. Uh, I don't mean with minimal smell, I don't mean getting rid of most of the smell, I mean absolutely no smell. And the key to keeping your crickets happy and healthy, well one of the keys, is surface space. Crickets need a lot of surface space or they will kill each other. This can be horizontal or vertical, it doesn't matter. Uh, we find egg crates work awesome, they're, they're cheap, easy to come across. Everybody can get a hold of them and keeps seems to keep it just happy. The only thing you really have to have to watch in this, you need to separate your food from your water. Uh, the food we have in here is regular oatmeal. You buy this in bulk. We have ours laced with calcium powder. Uh, calcium is really good to have in your crickets because once your crickets are full of calcium, whatever eats your crickets, such as your lizards, are full of calcium. So for the water. We have uh, two water sources here. It's separated uh, from the food by this plastic tray. You don't need anything super high. Uh, make sure the lip is actually low enough so even the small crickets can over it, get out the water. Uh, the two water sources we're using here, uh, we have water crystals. And we have uh, gut load, which is by Zilla. It's a cricket drink. The reason we have both is the gut load uh, which, which has calcium in it, really good for the crickets. Uh, they're very fine, it dries out really quickly. So we, throw, so we throw that in first, then throw in some of the regular water crystals, and that keeps them all nice and hydrated. So your crickets don't escape from your bin. Uh, make sure you keep your, your crates, whatever you have in here, fairly low so they can't climb up on that and jump over the side. Also, very, very important, uh, we have tape around the side. This is regular clear packing tape. Now your crickets can climb up the inside of your bin, they cannot climb up the tape. They climb up so far and just fall down. This way your crickets don't infest your house. Now our dragons are actually in a different room. Uh, they're upstairs in the living room. This thing is in the basement. So getting the crickets from here to the dragons um, was a bit of a pain. So what we have here, we have PVC pipe uh, with clear end caps. So, bad example. Here I have in here, uh, the crickets love to climb in here, they love dark places, this is the darkest place in the tank. So you take this upstairs, nice and simple, give it a shake, and well, uh, all the crickets that are inside here will climb out. Normally we have, like I said, a couple thousand crickets in here, pipes are pretty full, guys get lots of food, there's no problem with that. We use a spade bit on the inside of this, attached to the end of a drill, so it's really roughed up, lots of, uh, lots of places the crickets tiny feet can hook into. It's very important to have some kind of system like this. It's not really feasible to say, you know, uh, be shaking this off all the time into a bag or taking this upstairs. It doesn't work. Uh, we find the pipes work perfectly and there's no complaints. That's the overall the inside of the cricket enclosure here. Now, uh, like I said before, to get rid of the smell. Um, a lot of you who are watching this, you probably have crickets now or you know somebody has crickets, uh, go over right now, pause the video, go over, smell your crickets. Think what they smell like. They open up your tank, stick your face inside, and smell. Again, to you, my tank has no smell. It smells a little bit like oatmeal. Even a little bit like oatmeal. That's it. Uh, the typical enclosure usually just has a uh, lid on the top, some holes drilled in it. This is it. This is your air ventilation. This is a big part of the problem. Uh, crickets, they need a lot of ventilation to live, to avoid some die-out. They need a lot of ventilation to stay healthy. They need a lot of ventilation to not stink. Okay, so here's what we have done. Um, I said ventilation is key. So here we have lots of air going in. We have a fan blowing air from the room directly into the cricket tank. So we have a lot of fresh air. They're staying nice and healthy. Now all that air has to go somewhere. Normally the air coming out of the cricket tank is, is absolutely putrid. So we have the air being sucked out again with a fan and being blown through a two-stage filter. Alright, so the very first part of our ventilation system here uh, is a standard PC fan. This is hot glued to a piece of 3 inch PVC pipe. Runs into a 3 inch flange. Uh, this runs then inside the box. Another piece of 3 inch pipe. Uh, over that pipe we put a metal screen like you'd have for your screen door. This way crickets can't get in into your fan. They can't get out of your bin. Hammered another flange on top of that. This is all completely solid onto the box. And directly across from that, uh, we have the last part in our ventilation system. So again, is a 3-inch flange. Um, this piece of screen showed up in that. 3-inch pipe hammered into it. 
which runs out into another 3-inch flange. This way it's kept tight to the box. Seems, seems flimsy, but actually the box is flimsy. This this will never come off. You don't have to worry about crickets getting out. Um, this runs into another 3-inch pipe. Hot glued again to a PC fan. This one's not blowing in this time. This one is sucking out uh, into a flange, into another piece of 3-inch pipe wrapped with uh, active carbon. Uh, there's also another filter inside this and um, one of those air fresheners you dangle from the mirror of your car, one of those tree freshener things. So that keeps the air extra nice. The room kind of smells like wintergreen. On the end of that, we stuck a uh, 3-inch, 4-inch PVC cap. This keeps the whole thing sealed and airtight. All the air comes up through holes in the PVC pipe and is blown through the two-stage two filter. Right, the fans are powered by a standard PC power supply unit. Uh, this is going to be a very basic overview of this. If you're not into electronics, let me know. I can probably do a more detailed video on what I did here. Um, it's The fans work directly up to the 12-volt rail, and I jumped the PS on wire directly to a ground point, which in this case is a black wire. There's nothing really special about that. Um, I took all the leads off. They're kind of cut off or jammed inside there. There's no smell. Like I said, this this is absolutely amazing. Uh, compared to when we had our, our tiny cricket keeper with a few hundred crickets in it, that smell was even unbelievable. It was hard to come into the same room. This we can keep a few thousand crickets with no smell at all. Again, I don't mean virtually no smell. I don't mean a little smell. I mean no smell. All right, so that's, uh, that's the basic overview here. Everything you need to know to take care of your crickets. Keeping your own crickets is actually easy as pie. You don't have to worry about the smell. You don't really have to worry about any mess. You don't have to worry about them escaping in the setup. Um, the only thing you have to make sure, separate your food and your water. Food and water start to mix. This means mold, means sick crickets. It means crickets die. When crickets die, other crickets eat those crickets and get sick, and you have massive die-offs. So you don't have to worry about, really, because there's still going to be no smell from that, but you're going to lose money. Crickets are sick. What eats the crickets is going to get sick as well. And if there's something that went over your head, something you didn't quite understand, maybe I didn't give enough detail on a part, uh, let me know. I'll do another video on that particular part, go into more detail. Um, any questions, uh, any comments, please leave them. This is what we want to see.